Hey there, viewers. Cardiovascular problems are becoming more common every day. There are more patients with heart issues now than 30 years ago. Let's talk about one simple solution that's been part of alternative medicine for ages. We're talking about garlic. With the ability to prevent inflammation and reduce infections, garlic's one of the best foods for your heart. Let's discuss. Number one, it has anticoagulant properties. Garlic's anticoagulant properties help make the blood thinner. This ensures that blood circulation isn't affected in any way. There's one flaw, however, that needs to be taken into account. Having too much garlic could cause acidic reflux. The anticoagulant property of garlic also prevents strokes and heart attacks. You can also check out our video on what will happen to your body if you eat garlic every day. Number two, it has antioxidants. Garlic contains tons of antioxidants. These help to create a protective layer against free radicals, which in turn prevents both the damage and death of cells. In case you're wondering, these free radicals are responsible for causing different health problems in your body. These problems include cancer, diabetes, and heart problems. There you go, now you have another reason to eat garlic. While you're at it, you should also check out our video, Six Easy Home Remedies for a Stronger Immune System. Number three, it can control blood pressure. You want your heart to pump blood at a regular rate. Garlic not only helps you avoid hypertension, but also cardiovascular problems. Hypertension may often lead to strokes and heart attacks. When your blood pressure is controlled, you won't have to worry about these issues as much. Even in a study, it was found that garlic can moderately reduce blood pressure. Number four, it improves cholesterol levels. It has been observed in multiple studies that garlic supplements are known to reduce cholesterol levels. Cholesterol levels are risk factors for heart disease. Garlic actually protects your cholesterol from spiking. You have to be careful though. If taken in excess, garlic's acidity will cause heartburn. Check out our video, Acidic Foods Your Body Doesn't Like, to know more about highly acidic foods. Number five, it can prevent respiratory infections. Your respiratory system helps you inhale the oxygen you need to live. When the respiratory tract gets infected, it can no longer perform its function properly. As a result, the heart is forced to pump blood at a faster rate. This creates a strain on the heart. If it continues for a long period of time, it can lead to heart-related issues. This is where garlic comes to the rescue yet again. It has antimicrobial properties that prevent harm to the respiratory system. Are you impressed with garlic so far? Well, it gets better. We've discussed what garlic can do for the heart. Let's talk about some other benefits. Number one, it can help against the common cold. In a study, it was found that garlic supplements have the ability to lower your chances of getting colds. The same study found that garlic also reduces the number of days a person stays sick. Once again, this is because of their antioxidants and the antimicrobial properties. Number two, it can prevent dementia. This is something that develops as we age. A study has suggested that people with hypertension, cholesterol problems, and inflammation are often at high risk of dementia. Garlic works well against all of these problems. Number three, it can prevent Alzheimer's. You see, those antioxidants in garlic protect the cell damage that usually happens with age, thereby reducing the risk of Alzheimer's. Of course, it can't fully cure dementia or Alzheimer's disease, but this is not a small feat by any means. Number four, it detoxifies you. Garlic has the ability to detox your body. In a study conducted on 117 people, it was found that garlic has the ability to reduce lead levels in the body by 19%. More importantly, it reduced many clinical signs of toxicity. Apart from that, garlic has the ability to deal with headaches and colds that may have been caused by toxicity. Number five, reduces risk of prostate cancer. Many experts suggest that people who eat garlic regularly are at a lower risk of developing prostate cancer. While further investigations need to be made to find proper evidence, there is a theory as to why this happens. Garlic's antioxidants prevent all forms of cell damage. When we say cell damage, we mean each and every cell in your body. Since that's out of the way, let's talk about other foods that are equally beneficial. Number one, avocado. There are many reasons to appreciate fruit. First off, it's very good for your gut. Although this is not just your gut it favors. Apart from having dietary fibers, avocado contains plenty of monounsaturated fat. This reduces your risk of heart problems. Don't you wish all fats were like that? Number two, walnuts. These have the ability to reduce cholesterol and oxidative stress. Apart from that, they can control blood pressure. 
Walnuts also contain antimicrobial properties that are good at dealing with inflammation. Oh, and studies have shown that eating walnuts lowers the risk of heart disease. Number 3. Beans Beans are known for their resistant starch, which reduces the levels of triglycerides and cholesterol. This helps your heart to stay healthy. If that wasn't enough, beans also help to control blood pressure. If you've been paying attention so far, you already know that hypertension is a risk factor for heart disease. Number 4. Dark Chocolate When you think of dark chocolate, you probably think of the bitter cousin of milk chocolate. It also contains a lot of cocoa and caffeine. That's not all that a bar of dark chocolate contains. It also contains flavonoids and antioxidants that boost heart health. As a matter of fact, one study pointed out that people who regularly ate dark chocolate had lower chances of developing coronary heart disease. Just make sure that your chocolate has at least 70% cocoa. Number 5. Almonds One of the many nutrients that almonds contain are monounsaturated fats. As we've already explained in the video, if there's one fat you want in your body, it's monounsaturated. Almonds also lower cholesterol. There is a downside though. Almonds aren't very high in protein, so make sure you have something protein heavy in your diet. They contain a ton of calories as well, so make sure you exercise to burn them off. Do you have any heart problems? Do you know anyone who eats garlic or garlic supplements? Let us know in the comments below. We would love to hear from you. Enjoyed this video? Hit like, share, and subscribe to Bestie. Wait, what kind of bestie are we if we don't tell you about our other awesome videos? Go ahead, choose the left or right video, and enjoy.